Are you an elite Hexor? But you don't have an elite Hexor terminal like they do in the movies. <clears throat> then what you need is a bit of Edex UA. So um, this is the page on GitHub, uh, Edex UA, um, from Git Squared, Gabby Git Squared, in Paris, France. Bonjour. Now, Edex UA is a full screen cross platform terminal emulator and system monitor that looks and feels like a sci fi computer interface. interface. Heavily inspired from Tron Legacy movie effects especially the boardroom sequence there you go so that's that's all the stuff you can have a look at this at github.com forward slash get squared forward slash edx ua listen i'm actually almost being serious here and um, if you've ever gone and uh, watched one of these many hollywood movies with absolutely ridiculous totally redonkulous you know, the computer screens. I mean, look at this, look at this. This is your typical Hollywood adaptation of pretty much every computer system ever made. And of course, this one here is from Tron Legacy. Probably won't show very much more of that because I'd probably get some copyright calamity or something like that. But you get the idea. Obviously, this one has a little bit of Unix kicking in there um, because obviously you have dog viruses and Unix in the same planet so somebody obviously saw this <clears throat> and was like you know what i need a bit of in my life a bit of that a bit of that so what came out of it this thing watch watch people just watch this I'm not even joking. <laughs> this is Edex UA people. Um, it's actually been around for a little while. Um, <laughs> I don't know where to begin, but you can get this on uh, Windows. Obviously, you see it on Windows here. I know, I know, sorry. Uh, you can get it on Mac OS and you can also get it for Linux, of course. Uh, and this is obviously what you need in your life. Um, so, I mean, naturally, you know, there it is. Can I do an LS? But you can see this really, really annoying and pointless sound even when I press the delete key. I don't know why I'm showing this offline right now, but obviously the state of the world depends on me typing elite hacks or commands at this very terminal. And as well, I don't know why I don't have an IP address, but the time is right and the CPU usage I'm going to go with that being right as well. And this memory, I mean, these dots everywhere. Why are they not blinking? I need more blinking lights in my day. Anyway, we've got some sort of folder here as well. Now, I tried to get this working on my uh, Unix box. My, I keep saying Unix, Linux Ubuntu box. And it's pretty much the same as well. Like I don't really get much in the way of difference. And in fact, the only thing that I really noticed was the performance was worse than it is in Windows. Um, but you got this stuff here, and if you try and click on them, um, you get some sort of um, disk file viewer, obviously necessary as well. Um, there's all my folders, or not. Oh, there we go. There's all my files. Cool. Have it. I can't open it. What use is a file browser that you can't open files with? Anyway, you get the idea. And the only way to quit it, of course, is to Alt F4. Go figure. And there you go. It's Edex UA. Don't know if I can keep a straight face, but there you have it. 
I might invite some of my non-geek friends round to the house one day and tap it and see if they enjoy the visuals. I don't think they will. I think they'll just give me that usual strange look as my non-geek friends do. So, you know, it's worth a shot. Anyway, this has been Al's Geek Lab. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you sometime soon. Uh, until then, uh, subscribe. Do the whole YouTube thing. Subscribe, thumbs up, all that good stuff. And if you don't like it, then don't thumbs down. Don't be that person. There's only one or two of you so far. Just put it in the comments. Tell me what sucked. Get all the rage out. It's all good. All right, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.